Hey everyone, last week on Friday I uh, made an important video update that hopefully you have seen and what I was uh, discussing is this new newfound momentum in uh, not only gold but really gold miners and, and the price of silver and if you look at this chart here, this is the year-to-date performance. Um, here's the one year, let's do the year-to-date, becomes more obvious. You can see the NASDAQ 100 there uh, underperforming gold, silver, and gold miners, and more importantly, gold miners and silver are gaining uh, traction. So I'm going to quickly recap what I mentioned last week, and hopefully you watch that video. What I want to do quickly right now is show you what new mining looks like. It's an individual stock within the gold mining space, and um, you can see that this is a stock that's been struggling from a bearish moment, a trade a trend, I should say. Uh, and then started moving into a neutral trend and now has been in a green, a bullish trend basically since, uh, what is that, early July. So far the stock is up, as I'm recording, it's about 26% uh, from there. More importantly though, uh, let's have a look at this, actually not more importantly, just more detailed. Most important is always the trend. Let's have a look at the stock here uh, in sort of absolute terms on its uh, simple sort of daily chart, just using some really classic and, and basic, ultra basic technical analysis. And what we'll see here is, is a stock that essentially has now worked its way all the way back from March, all the way up to where it is right now, which again, very impressive, you know, 78%. Again, it's now in a new bullish trend on the market rover, very importantly. But also, I don't think it's done yet because we're really just getting back to a point that where the stock really found some major resistance, first major resistance in January of 2023. And so after all of this basing here, and again, this is the single stock analysis I did uh, last week through the, um, the analysis on the sector uh, and, and, and that whole new movement. So all this sort of basing that we've seen here is now really starting to, to get this stock to... Uh, uh, to, to get to a point where I think more institutional investors are going to get interested, ironically, all the way up here. But it looks good. It looks interesting. It looks, you know, again, the sector, the movement of, of all that sort of more risk on um, money coming into, into the space. Uh, we've been consolidating if you want to be very, very near term. And again, this is, you know, these, these things are, are, can be very, very volatile. So I always caution be careful with uh, gold miners because they are choppy, they're volatile, they give us lots of false breakouts, fake outs. So this too doesn't mean that the stock's going to explode higher from here, right here, right now. But it does look to me like it wants to start breaking above this resistance area around uh, sort of the mid 50s and ultimately start moving higher into the low 60s. So that's a little bit of an update here on this particular stock. Hope it helps. And uh, again, I hope you I've seen that sort of broader uh, movement, that broader sort of momentum back into gold miners and, and silver over the past uh, number of days and, and how sort of gold has passed the baton on to those, at least for right now. Again, remember those things are choppy and volatile, but this is what we're seeing right now. 